This is one of the main reasons, Sean, that I left the Democrat Party. It is clear, and it has been for some time, that they don't care about the safety, security, or freedom of the American people. And they have become apologists for these Islamist jihadists. And, Sean, I got to tell you, for those like me, the many Americans like me who enlisted in the military because of the 9-11 jihadist terrorist attack on us, this is incredibly offensive. You know, I've, I've deployed three times to war zones in, in the Middle East and in Africa. I know how serious this threat of Islamist jihadism is. The Democrat elite, they don't care. They don't care. They instead, they leave our borders wide open, which we know are being exploited by these Islamist terrorists. And they redirect our security infrastructure, our assets, our intel assets, not towards focusing on these terror threats that are coming through our borders and elsewhere. They're focusing them on fellow Americans. They're focusing them on people who they have deemed as domestic terrorism threats or, or extremists, also known as people who are supporters of President Donald Trump or conservatives. Uh, and, and I want to point out, really, uh, Sarah mentioned this, but most importantly, we know that Iran has sleeper terrorist cells here in America. And unlike uh, the, uh, uh, the, the al-Qaeda, these terrorist sleeper cells have the access and capability and may have already brought in nuclear material into this country, waiting to be activated. And if used, could launch an attack here, right here at home, that would make 9-11 uh, look small in comparison. So the, the graveness of the threats that we face right now, Sean, because of the failures of this administration, the Democrat elite, because they do not care about us, well, our safety or our security, this is what we're facing. I think, especially with the UN, Jennifer Griffin reporting that the next chair of the Human Rights Commission at the uh, Human Rights Council at the UN is going to be Iran. Yet we fund most of that organization, the WEF, the WHO with coronavirus. Why are we a part of these, these globalist organizations, number one? And number two, what should America's role be if Turkey, if Iran, Hezbollah, Hamas, the Houthis, uh, Syria are all after one country? What should, we, what should America's role be? We, we only have about a minute. Uh, well, I, I want to make the most of this time, Sean. You're right. The, the leaders of our country are not putting the best interests, the security interests of the American people first. The example you cited earlier about Turkey's Erdogan citing Hamas as being freedom fighters. Well, Erdogan himself is part of the Muslim Brotherhood. Erdogan himself is a supporter of ISIS and Al Qaeda. Erdogan out himself of NATO. has murdered Throw him out. our Syria. He should have been Throw kicked out a Turkey long time ago. Out. But American leaders don't have the courage to do what is necessary. That's the problem.